Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. So I've got my amp pretty much all wired up, but as a precaution, I decided to do one final look through over the schematic and the layout and was just comparing things. And I noticed that I've got some problems. Now, this is just some combination of poor design. I think I forgot um, to add a B plus node connection to my output transformer. I think I also got a little bit confused just working with a hi-fi transformer it just got a little bit messed up so we're gonna have to fix a couple things but it, before we get into that I just want to do a little bit of a walkthrough of where we're at so this is how I discovered it basically I started up my power supply this is my IC this is the hot end going into the fuse into the 120 volt LED into the power switch completing to the other side of the power transformer uh, one leg here, one leg here. So earth ground is bolted to the chassis. We're good to go. Uh, we've got our 6.3 filament windings here that are going to the, this terminal strip. And then it's going here to these tubes. A tightly twisted pair, elevated a little bit to try to kind of keep them away from the rest of the signal wires. Um, we've got the some center taps here that are bolted over here to the chassis to ground right over here. We've got these yellow wires, these are the 6.3 filaments. Now I decided to go a solid state rectifier, so I'm not actually using them, but they still are wired into the circuit and could be connected to a tube rectifier if I would choose to add one. Uh, I would need to drill a hole and add another socket, but I guess, I mean, I could probably just tie them off. It really doesn't matter though. But then this is where we get interesting. So we've got our five point, or this is our high voltage the two red wires, there's our high voltage out, okay? So we come in on these traces. This is going to these slots that is was initially de designated for my tube rectifier. But um, I'm using, this is pins uh, four and six for two, uh, five, one and five, four, zero, eight rectifier diodes that are being bridged down here to pins two and eight. And then I'm using this white wire to connect them and then they're going to be sending the rectified voltage down on this trace down to here. Now, I also included, this is C9, I'm sorry, C5 and R21, which I could have had another layer of filtering, but I decided to not go with that, mostly just because um, I didn't really have the right kind of, kind of power resistor that I would need to put in here. It need to be pretty high wattage. And so I just decided to omit that, and I'm jumpering it here. So now we get to our first B-plus step down. So we've got this yellow wire which is going to this filter cap and then we've got these black wires which is going out to our choke. Now at this stage this is where if we look at this diagram this is the diagram that came with the, out, the output transformers. This red B plus node. These red wires are right up here. Um, I currently have them right here connected where I was going to do an ultra linear switch but it actually appears that they're following this trace down here, which is my second B plus node. And I don't think that that would work because I need the current draw. This, this, this filter choke does not have the current capacity to handle the current. So I need, I need the two 6v6s to be, the plates to be in line before this. So I need to move this junction point because right here, these are my red wires. This, these are going into my, right here, the B plus node. And so I've, I've got to feed my volt, my high B plus voltage from this point to this point. So I'm going to, I've got another red wire right here. I'm going to hook this guy in right here to this yellow wire. and run the other end up here and I'm going to lift these two wires out and I'm not going to use the ultra linear switch we're just going to have a fixed pentode mode I believe so let's make that change all right so now I have this B plus junction hopefully corrected so my this is the first node my first stop of rectified B plus voltage is going to be traveling up into here and splitting into these two red wires which is going to feed the B plus here on my output transformer. So then next we've got the white blue wires which are these two 
these are need to go to the screens. Now, the next thing I realized is I've got a resistor here and a resistor here. And I kind of went into autopilot mode when I put those resistors in. These are quarter watt resistors, and that's not going to do. Uh, my screens are tied in here with these yellow wires on pin, pins four. And so, um, basically, right now I've got this white wire is going into here, part of the switch, which is going to this. 470 ohm resistor which is going to the here. Now a lot of the time what happens is these screen grid resistors are like tied onto the tube socket. So one of the things I'm considering doing would be taking like for example I could take this wire, lift it up, connect it to like one of these open pins here and then run the 470 ohm 1 watt resistor directly onto the pin. It's probably the best way to do it. My only concern is I'm not sure if I left myself enough leg room with these stock wires, so I'm a little nervous about that, but I think that's just the chance we're going to have to take.